For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you the CircuitPython web workflow. This is a workflow particularly for ESP32 based boards that allows you to deal with files and code on your device wirelessly. So you can see here, I have a Metro ESP32 S2 Express. It is plugged into a big USB uh, battery bank. It is not plugged into my computer, so there's no data coming through wires, but this has Wi-Fi on it. And one of the amazing things about the, uh, the web workflow is that the setup is dead simple. If you take a look here in my browser, this browser is using a web server that is running on the board right now to serve up this code editor. If I click on open, this is the file system of the Metro. So that's showing me I've got my settings.toml file, my code, my libraries, the boot out text. I'm gonna click on this template settings.toml file. It's a fake one, so you don't see my credentials, my actual ones. But all you need to do to make the web workflow work is have a settings.toml file on the board with your Wi-Fi router SSID and password filled in. That will automatically cause the board to try to get on Wi-Fi as soon as it boots. And set up a web API password. I'm just using a default here, password with a zero. If you set that file up on the board, then the next time you reset it, you'll be able to go to a URL that's simply circuitpython.local. So let's do that from scratch. I'll go circuitpython.local. Here is the device info. It tells me what board it's on, the version of CircuitPython I'm running, the host name, and the IP address that it's been assigned on my network. Now I can click on a file browser and go look at the files that are on the board. Uh, we can also edit those files right here in a sort of a bare bones way. Or we can go to this full code editor. So this again tells me a little info about the device. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. And now I can do things like open up the code.py file. When I open that, I'm now dealing with your typical code editor for CircuitPython. This is just bringing in a uh, NeoPixel library, and you can see here when I adjust the color, I can save that code, and I'm just hitting Command S on my keyboard, and now I've changed the color to blue. Uh, I can go ahead and comment that code out and do something a little more interesting here. So now I'm going to save that file. Uh, it is gonna restart the board. And now we're doing a little rainbow color display of the NeoPixel on the board. You can also check out the serial editor if you have serial output and get right to the REPL directly over Wi-Fi. So you can imagine this is really useful for projects where it's not easy to access the board. You've got it hooked up to power. Maybe it's a solar thing. You don't have an easy way to get a USB cable and a laptop into it. As long as you are within Wi-Fi striking distance, you'll be able to log in with the web workflow and code your CircuitPython right on the board, no wires involved. And that is an introduction to the web workflow in CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.